Hello, this is Joe Neville and welcome to part two of my Aruba home lab build. So in the last video, the first one, I built my Hyper-V server and in this one I'm going to build a brand new ClearPass virtual appliance on top of that server. So let's jump over to my server then. Here I'm going to remote desktop into that. Let's full screen it. Okay, so before I started, I've downloaded the ClearPass folder for Hyper-V and I have extracted that, so that's ready to go. Open up Server Manager and we'll go Tools. I need the Hyper-V Manager. So this is the local server. And what we're going to do is we are going to import the virtual machine. So in here we browse to that folder that I just showed you. So I've got that in download. So select that folder okay good hit next yep that's the one we're going to import good and here the choose the type of import to perform so that is copy the virtual machine I'm not going to change the location we just go with the defaults for the locations here for the uh, virtual hard disk Okay, so here in the virtual machine, you have some uh, virtual switches defaults in there, the switch management. So I haven't set that up. In the last video, if you're not sure what I'm doing here, I did set a switch up and I called it Ethernet. So if I go down to the connection, I'll just set that to Ethernet and hit next. Same again for the other ports, that switch data. I'm just gonna set that to Ethernet for now. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to finish that and it will copy across. There are going to be quite a few uh, long periods here where not much is going on, so I'm, I will edit those out. So this isn't gonna be real time. I'm going for quick and dirty with these videos to try and make this as consumable as possible for you. Okay, so now that copy has finished, we can see the virtual machine there is the ClearPass uh, VA installed okay uh, now what you want to do at this point is if we go to settings because the import is pretty heavy uh, it's quite a bad boy actually so the memory is taking up quite a bit the processes so it's got eight processors virtual processors in there um, so what I'm going for, I'm just going for the lab version, so the eval lab version. I don't need all of that grunt. So what I'm going to do is drop that down. So it's six meg for the memory. There we go. And virtual processes is just two. So let's apply that. So it comes in as quite a heavy bad boy and uh, you don't actually need all of that for my, for, I don't need it for my purposes essentially. What I do need to do next step is to add the 80 gig hard drive on. So I go to SCSI controller, add a hard drive there and hit new. Next default was fine dynamically expanding is fine i'll call that clear pass disk two fine next okay so that's the one for my setup now do check the release notes uh, because for the different uh, appliances that you want you've got uh, different demands I'm going for the lab version, the eval version, so it's an 80. So the way to remember it is two CPUs, six uh, meg RAM and 80. So it's like 268. Um, it's one way of remembering it. <laughs> okay, so next and finish. So that's the extra hard drive on there. We will apply that. Checking those NICs. So those are the two NICs. Uh, this is the management and that is the data. Now, this is where we apply the VLANs that we want to use. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I've got my Hyper-V server on a VLAN 2 and I want my ClearPass and other servers that I'm going to use in this small setup, I'm going to put them on VLAN 5, so a different VLAN. So this is where we set this. The management port I want to be on VLAN 5, so I hit VLAN ID, enable, yep, and just put in 5 there. 
to apply that. So that, that's fine, okay. I'm not actually gonna use the data port. Right, uh, now let us go to, I think that's ready to go actually, so we can turn that on. So we right, ah, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will change the name. That's what I was looking for. Now, because the, the name's not particularly, I'm gonna call this clear pass five because it's gonna sit on VLAN five for me. So the dash five designates the VLAN. Makes it nice and easy for me to remember. Okay, so let us start that up. There we go. And you will see the console down here when that's starting. That's going to take, let's double click that. We should be able to connect to it. Okay. Click in there, enter. Okay, so this is going to take a while as that boots up, so I'll skip ahead. Okay, and we're back. So that only took a minute or two, actually, so that wasn't too long. Uh, so now we've got this option, VM appliance type. So this is where I'm going to go for that C Lab V. So it's one, enter. Okay, and there you see number of CPUs, two, memory six, and disk size 80, two, six, eight, zero. Okay, <laughs> I've already set that up. That's going ahead then. Getting system configuration, this might take a few minutes, dot, dot, dot. And I will skip ahead then. Uh, actually, now, after a few seconds, it came back and said, warning me that the second disk is going to be um, a raise. So we'll hit yes for that, and off it goes. Okay, and we are back. So I've got a login here. Let's log in. So that's app admin etips123 etips. So tips is in capitals. Logged in as group local administrator, fine. Okay, enter host name. So I'm gonna call it clear pass five. IP address is going to be five. And I will set this as dot 10. Boring slash 24 subnet and the gateway is the top of that subnet 254. Not going to use the data port. So the, the primary DNS, I've already got this in my lab, is going to be that. Secondary, this is just my lab infrastructure. New password. Into that, confirm it. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna do the time. Okay, NTP server, I'm going to use an external UK NTP server, if I can remember it, ntp.org. That looks correct to me. And there's another one which is not UK pool. I sometimes use these for my lab builds. Configure the time zone. Yes, I am in Europe, so that's eight. And I am in Britain, UK, so that's seven. Lucky number seven. Okay, so that looks correct to me. Go for it. I'm not gonna enable FIPS mode. That all looks good, so I hit yes. So while that's going through, I will show you the switch setup that I've got connected to this. So here's my 2930. I've got connected to the physical set. So the server is a, it's an HP Elite desk, uh, so one of those small form factor servers. And what I've done, I'll show you the running config. It's connected on port three. So my fundamental, so like my baseline VLAN that I'm running the Windows server and some other setups in the lab is on VLAN two. And I've got that untagged there because this server here 
I didn't set a VLAN ID against the uh, V switch. So that will come out and hit this default gateway here because it's going to be untagged on port three. And here, VLAN five is the one I'm going to use for my clear pass and other uh, devices that I set up for this section of the lab. So I've got that tagged on three. And so VLAN five tagged on three, and that is the default gateway and it allows it to route off to the internet. So while that's going through, I will skip ahead. Okay, the stop and restart actions have completed and I've got this login screen again, but I'm not going to log in here. I'm gonna move over to my web browser. So let's minimize this. Get rid of that and open up Firefox. So I should be able to log in 5.10. Okay. Uh, an exception yet. Let's go. Okay, good stuff. Right. So hit policy manager and it's going to go to the license screen, fingers crossed. So add license, right? So I'm obviously not going to share my license. So I'm going to enter that. I'll skip ahead. Okay. A license added terms and conditions accepted all those good things. So now we log in. So this is your new password what we, that we set via the CLI. There we are. Okay, so my uh, buddy Herman told me first thing that you always have to do is update because especially because this is you should always do this, but especially with security products it's absolutely vital that you keep them up to date as with all your IT resources, of course. So what we need to do is enter your HPE passport credentials. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I'm using the wrong keyboard act. There we are, good. Hopefully I remembered that. Okay, great, so that was successful. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the vital first step of updating the firmware and patches. So first of all, I'm gonna go for this patch here, the cumulative patch eight. So I'll start downloading that. Okay, that's it for this video. So new clear pass, virtual appliance, installed and updating. In the next video, I think I'll do more of my server builds, then I'll come back and configure the clear pass server there. Please do like, comment and subscribe and do check out the Airheads broadcasting channel here on YouTube, which me and my colleagues normally post to. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. My name is Joe Neville and goodbye.